where do the good girls go to hide away hide away let's do a snap chop it's been a while you guys want to paint me out to be this villain and say that I'm so vile. That's just not who I am behind the scenes. You guys don't know me. You only see a little snippet of my life. That'll put them in their place. <laughs> I'm so much better than my subscribers. Becky! Becky, where's my drink? I asked you for the drink 30 minutes ago. Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to an Alex is Shook reaction. And I am super excited because today we're going to be taking a look at a new video from ALR. This one is called Buying Moving Supplies, Home Depot and Walmart shopping and therapy update vlog. That's quite a mouthful. I feel like less is more when it comes to YouTube titles, but maybe that's just me nitpicking. Do I nitpick? I know that when it comes to reaction channels, that's like a main criticism. Hopefully we're not there yet. Anyways, did you guys see this community tab post from Eric Cook? For those of you guys that don't know Eric Cook, he lived with Amber Lynn during like 2018, 19, and then in 2020 is when Amber Lynn and Becky moved out and moved to Lexington. But he posted on his community tab, really wish people would leave my name out of their mouth. So what do you guys think he's talking about here? Um, some people are speculating that it could be Amber Lynn. Other people have thought that maybe he's talking about reaction channels. I mean, I feel like the person that has talked about Eric Cook and done the most videos on him might be me. It's been a long time since I've done an Eric Cook video though, but I did post on Twitter about his alleged breakup because he was on Tinder, that his Tinder profile was revealed, but someone reached out to Eric Cook and he said that he didn't break up with Ricky, so I guess they're just looking for a third to have a little bit of fun, if you know what I mean. Amber doesn't really talk about Eric Cook. Eric Cook doesn't really do anything all that interesting, but if he did, I will talk about it. <laughs> In fact, maybe we'll do a retro. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think. Who is he talking about here? And let's just get right into it. I mean, shall we? Hello. So <laughs> I'm wearing the same dress as I was wearing uh, yesterday because I slept in it. Like I said, I'm having some bad habits. She's falling back into bad habits. It's giving 2019 vibes. <laughs> do I say 2019 too much? And that is one of them. Where I just like, I don't know, everything just feels really hard right now and nothing feels like it matters. Like You can tell that she barely leaves the house. I mean, she's so pale. Oh, changing into a uh, PJ. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> but I wanted to wake up today and just like finally take care of myself again. And that's why we're going to do like, you know. Yeah, when you're in these situations, you just kind of have to force yourself because it's going to help uh, mentally for you to get up, get a shower and put on some new clothes and just take care of yourself. It really, really helps. And I know how hard that that can be. Like, it's not really that simple to just, you know, just do it. Just do it like uh, Shia LaBeouf says. It's not that simple. But you got to find, you got to muster up that strength to go ahead and do that and take care of yourself because just sitting there like this, wallowing in your own filth, like it's not going to help you. A weigh in and I have therapy today <laughs> and I'm really excited for all that. Um, I've been awake for a little bit. I just, I don't know, I'm kind of dreading getting out of bed. I've made some important phone calls. She should do like a little fake beauty mark. I don't know why like. I think that would look good. Um, we have Twinkie. There's actually like dirt on my, um, there's dirt on my screen on my laptop. So it looks like she has a beauty mark. We in a sweet. Y'all can't see it, but Hi. look at Twinkie. Yeah. She is adorable. It's just weird to have the whole bed to myself. <gasps> but yeah, I haven't had therapy in a... But you have Twinkie. It's been some weeks, so... My therapist is about to learn a lot has gone down because my therapist doesn't know that I am not getting weight loss surgery anymore. My therapist doesn't know about the breakup, like about me moving. Like, oh my goodness. What about destiny? Does the therapist know about destiny? I think that uh, he does because she talked about that before. So 
there's been so much drama in Amberlynn's life recently. Like, what? A lot. So it's going to be like kind of a, a big appointment, um, a really big update, word vomit, probably. She can't fall back into these bad habits, though. It's not a good look. A lot of tears, but I like to do my makeup for therapy because they have to stare at my face all day. And I know she she be ugly. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get up now. And... She's going to cry off the mascara. Go shower and get ready for the waste. day and weigh myself. I have a feeling I'm, I've gained some weight, so. I, I can almost like tell in her face that, yeah, she's been putting on, she's been like packing on the pounds again um, in a pro post breakup situation. Food has always been her coping mechanism. So it's not surprising that because of the breakup, she went back to the food. It's her substance of choice. Just feel it my lymphedema feels like swollen and hard and i'm just retaining so much water like the sodium I had so much sodium <laughs> so i'm gonna go do that i know what amber's gonna say before she even says it girls amber tuition so i just got done crying and being sad while doing my makeup and then i look out by A the butterfly? window and there's just this butterfly just being beautiful and i've never seen it's just a butterfly a Maybe that's one of her, like, deceased relatives. I know that seems, like, kooky, but I've just always heard that butterflies are, like, deceased relatives. <laughs> Is that kooky? Right there, ever. It closed its wings. What does that mean? Is it okay? It's still there. It's that guy right there, but I always heard that butterflies are good luck. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So I want to give you guys a update on my... It's someone watching over, Amber. <laughs> Maybe. Dean. <laughs> of Legos, wannabe Legos. So I did this one. This is a bear house. There is like, this is like a collectible, not a collectible. I love, in case you guys didn't, couldn't tell, I love the buildings, the Lego buildings. That's my favorite. Well, there's like a collection you can do, which I think I'm low-key gonna do it. They only put out one a year for the most part. Like you could do all of these. It's called a city corner. Mm. So I say, you know what, that. I'm going to get cute. every single one of these and do them. So, and then not only did I do that one, I did this one, which is like a house oh, that's here. So you cute. have a bedroom, you have your, um, bathrooms in there. There's like a tub, there's a little office area, entertainment area. The kitchen is way back in what? there. What? Why is that so much more detailed than the Lego ones? <laughs> um, some stairs, like the whole nine. So that, that one was cool. super fun. And then... I did this one. It's just like a little office living room area. I really enjoy doing these ones. They're so fun. Last but not least, I finished the Jurassic Park one. So um, it's very like meticulous with all the little decorations. I dropped this last night. Yeah, I did because um, I had it set up on this. I always wanted like the Jurassic Park one, but I'm not really that into Jurassic Park. I haven't even seen the newest one. This guy right here. I don't want to be a poser. Has been so annoying. Um, it's a dinosaur stepping on an upside down car, and yes. you're supposed to have this sitting here, and it rolled off and it broke. So I had to re-put that together. And then the dinosaur has also fallen, and I had to fix that, which was super annoying. But regardless, I love Jurassic Park, so this was a fun experience. But putting they can be very fragile sometimes. Together, the dinosaur. It wasn't uh, my favorite, but. Yeah, really? this it is looks crazy cool. big. Um, I'm actually going to be selling, because as you know, I'm moving. Um, I'm going to be selling some of the Legos that I've already completed. I didn't even know that there was a place um, in the city that I live that buys used Legos. I did not know because I've been... I have one too, right up the street, actually. I wonder what their prices are like. Like, you know, when you go to GameStop and they give you like 25 cents for a game you bought for $60. I can't. I'd rather just ebay or something i don't know facebook marketplace i mean all my legos away like thousands of dollars of legos to goodwill so whoever got those from goodwill happy for you but did she give like the completed legos to goodwill she didn't sell them but i could have actually sold them um i can't sell these though like off-brand lego <laughs> girl that's because you don't do your research like she keeps stuff that doesn't fit and then gives it to Goodwill when really she could just return it. There's a Torrid. We've talked about this before. What is with her and like wasting money on purpose? 
don't want to be Lego, but I do have Legos that I do want to sell. Like I have a piano. Um, I have two typewriters. So she's selling the piano. Is she selling all the ones that Feline gave her? Because it's like the memories. I sell one of those. Obviously, I want to sell this Jurassic Park one. For me, it's not about like. If she I, sold the Titanic too. I have like a big house, an extra room. I would keep all my Legos in there completed. Like I. Yeah, like it's just a Lego room. Then get yourself a big house, girl. We know you got the coin. I've done so many Legos in my lifetime. I've gotten rid of all of them. But if I had like. She could get like a little McMansion in a city that's not so expensive. You know what I mean? Like a little McMansion situation. <laughs> a bigger space or whatever. Obviously, I would have kept them. Um, but it's not really about keeping them per se. It's just doing them. It's just doing them. It's fun. So anyways, my therapy is in a half. Would you guys prefer like a new house, but all the houses pretty much look the same in the neighborhood? Or would you prefer like a 1960s house? Like that's what I grew up in, like a split level from the 1960s. Sorry, guys. And all the houses look different. Would you prefer that? Or would you prefer brand new? Because it's just less to worry about. But it all looks the same. An hour? No. 25 minutes. And uh, I'm dreading that. So, yeah. Okay, so I had my therapy. It was a crying session, for sure. A lot, a lot of crying. But I really, really love my therapist. Sometimes it feels good just to get that out, right? Is she on the, she's on the phone, right? With the therapist um, on live stream, live stream. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they just made me see that like, mine and Feline's breakup was healthy. Necessary, healthy. Mutual, mature. And healthy because she's lying about what went down. I don't think that like, if you're lying in therapy, like it's not going to help. And it's what we both needed and I have to continue reminding myself of that because if I don't then it's like I just think of the amazing times with her and when I do that I'm like am I making a mistake like are we making a mistake so I have to continuously remind myself why I'm doing this you know like go back and look at journal entries and keep journaling keep journaling Amberlynn please journal entries keep doing it like I love Feline with every part of me Actually, I feel like it's good to journal. You can look back at your thoughts and feelings at that time. I never thought of it that way, but I've never journaled. <laughs> like I would, I'm the type of person back when I was a kid, right? I would start a journal, do maybe two days and then quit. <laughs> Every single part of me. <laughs> yeah, I need to go. <clears throat> Cause I'm like. Let it all out, girl. We want to hear. Just really hurting right now. Just really fucking hurting. This shit comes in waves, and when it hits you, it hurts. There's nothing that hurts this bad. The sun is no joke, and we have our AC on kind of high on 69, but we have a few errands. Does she not do the weigh-in? Okay. Hold on. Oh, that's better, that's better. So we're actually about to- I guess it was just for herself. Uh, go run a few errands. My makeup is- kind of smeary. I noticed like halfway through therapy, I had like mascara running down right here and I didn't even notice. Yeah, that was embarrassing. My therapist didn't say anything, of course not. But first place we're gonna go to- I don't think he really cares. What's he gonna say? Fix your shit. <laughs> is Home Depot, cause we're gonna get just a couple boxes. Moving supplies. Just to get things moving. You gonna put on that seatbelt? Ding, ding, ding. Aren't boxes like really expensive, like ridiculously expensive for no reason? We just pulled out, so. Y'all, there is a guy fishing in this little creek and that's not even a creek. I don't know what that is, a puddle? What? Panda Express. Oh, me and Feline were cracking up there. I'm hungry. So here's Home Depot. So we're about to head in. We were listening to the good old beautiful Lizzo, Truth Hurts. All right, Ooh. so here is the. I need apple car play. Moving aisle. This is wardrobe. I didn't even know they made wardrobe cute, boxes. Cute. Should I get them? Oh, is that what you're gonna be using too? Uh, <gasps> smooth. smooth as Do always. you want a wardrobe box? Um, no, I'm probably just gonna put everything in a suitcase. That's so depressing. Let me get like a. She's gonna put everything into a suitcase, so she doesn't really have that much stuff. That's what I'm getting from that. She never really moved in. 
if she can fit everything into a suitcase, that's kind of strange. I should probably get a tall one because I have like dresses, dresses. upon dresses. Yeah. Where's all of her stuff? So are you one of these? So yes. back at home. Two of them. They have like TV boxes. Do you think we're gonna get those or do you think that we could just store it? Uh, we can probably just store it. They should have- Like uh, put a blanket over it? Yeah, they should have uh, moving blankets. Okay. Or actually we can just put those in the car. Rot. I probably need like an extra large. Rot, 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 rot. <laughs> I don't know if this cart's gonna do it. Oh my goodness, that beeping is like starting to get to me. I'm not a Home Depot person. I just, I remember growing up, I used to absolutely hate when my parents took us to Home Depot, like, and would spend forever trying to pick out, like, a fridge or something. Ugh. Do you want to just use this thing? I still don't and, like, like lay it. it. Yeah. Okay, so we have this little guy here in a ton of boxes. So I don't think we're going to have to be coming back, thank God. So we're just going to get everything out. We also got some tape and underneath. It's like when you don't own a home, Home Depot is just depressing. Because <laughs> you know you can't do those things. Like, you can't do much. This is some packing paper as well. I also think, though, she got like, tape too. dishes and stuff, we might get one of these. Better to be Bubble safe cushion. than sorry. <laughs> I'm a clumsy. Yes, I am. Why don't my leg just vibrate and my phone is about That's a good I have idea. No idea. I probably would have forgot about that. We literally got so many boxes. We have some in the trunk, in the back seat. It is. It still won't be enough for Amber's stuff. Oh, I can't even say bittersweet. It's just really sad. Um, Next stop, though. Is she already, like, looking for apartments? And she's being, like, coy about where she's moving? Is we are going to the Walmart. Because I want to get, like, a visual representation of how much weight I want to lose um, before I move. So I already thought about it. I weighed myself today. I was shocked. I only gained a couple pounds. Like my body's weird. Like I could be on track and gain the same amount of weight I gained after this last week of just eating all the junk. I don't. Her body's just like a complete anomaly. Even if she has, you know, like 1500 calories every day, she still gains. I don't believe that. I'm just that's what she wants us to believe. It's not true, though. She's not an anomaly. I think she does have a slow metabolism, um, just for several reasons, because she went through menopause already and other things as well. And she doesn't work out. So, yeah. She also eats, like, weird. Like, she'll eat a lot and then, like, not very much. It's not good for your metabolism. Metabolism. Get it. But yeah, so we're gonna go to Walmart. I've been to Walmart in forever. I'm usually a Target girly, but I figured let's Same. just go to Walmart today. So I've actually never been to this Walmart before, so I'm a little lost. Right now I'm in the PJs. This is super cute. I get it. Like sometimes you just need to go to Walmart because, you know, Target's a classier moment. Like if you're getting food, just go to Walmart because Target food is overpriced. They get ya. They get ya. Unless you can find some sales. I always buy like sale stuff. Cute. Um, I looked at the jewelry and it's the same jewelry that they've had since five years ago. So really I'm good. Yeah, uh. I am in the journal aisle and Feline picked this up. Cause her and Becky would get like the Walmart jewelry. <laughs> That's weird. That's like all they had in their town was like a Walmart. It was one of those situation type deals where all they have is a Walmart. I couldn't, I couldn't live in a town like that. Um, that's cute. It's kind of creepy, ain't it? I don't like it. Really? Do they I have them? I kind of want to get one. It's, I don't know, it's weird. That's the only thing I have in the like, cart. It's like Feeling better shirt. I was looking at the planners. I don't need one. I was looking at the journals. I don't need one. But I'll still look. I'll still look. I have to go to the arts and crafts section for what I'm really looking for. Oh, these are cute. I might get these pastel pens. Yeah. Oh my god. Wait, give me that furry journal right, right behind you. How many you. pens does she have, like, at this point? <laughs> okay. Yep, she's definitely falling into bad habits again. You know. Because I'm junk. freaking 10 years old. No, I'm not getting that. Okay. <laughs> 
So I am in the... The old Amber would get it. Art aisle. And I had a few ideas. Like putting the, balls uh, in a cup. Balls. <laughs> then I thought of maybe adhesive gemstones on paper. But I oh, think my final... kind of cute. Final ...decision is I'm going to get some of these craft sticks. You guys will see like what I mean. Sticks? So I did get some journals. Because I've been journaling a lot, so I got those too. She's been so cryptic lately. Like, we can't know the way in. We can't know the exact reason for the breakup. We can't even know what her craft supplies are for. Like, I'm starting to get annoyed with it. Tell us. <laughs> I'm going to get this guy. I got some Sharpies. And I'm getting three packs of these colorful pens. And I think that's it. So we've been home for a couple of hours. <laughs> My hair is seen better days um but i put some like what do you call them gyozas, okay. gyozas. <laughs> i'm not good at pronouncing that word sorry pot stickers dumplings whatever you want to call them and the air fryer and they got so crispy on the outside and um it's just like a thai vegetable type and on top i put a little bit of soy sauce and a little bit of sriracha so that's what i'm about to eat oh my god you have to try one. Everything you wanted and more? Everything I wanted and more. Start using that air fryer, folks. I know it's sitting in your pantry, in your closet. In a no, I use it all the time. Cabinet somewhere. That's you, Get sweetheart. it out and use it. She's projecting. <laughs> that was you, sweetheart. Oh, yeah. That's perfect texture. I've used the air fryer twice today. I used it earlier to do a chicken sausage because I had my veggie cottage cheese mustard moment. Can you hear how crunchy? I hear that. <laughs> sound like you're right in my ear. <laughs> Move on. Does Feline need to step in? Is this getting out I'm of joking. control? I'm joking. that bed. Or is this just dinner? All right, you guys. <laughs> so we haven't done P.O. Box in a little bit, so let's do it. At least she's not doing the junk food mukbangs every day like Foodie Beauty. If you guys want to send me anything, here is my P.O. box. I'm going to keep it until I move. So if you do send me anything, please do not send me any food. All right, let's get into it. So no food, please. Cody written this super cute card. And also, I guess this is um, an author from like Real Housewives. I've actually never seen the show, but he went and got it signed. So it says to Amberlynn from Cody, lots of love. And then Kara Alloway is her name, signed it. So that is really cool. Thank you so much. Which housewife is that? I didn't see that one. I don't even know who that is. I like Beverly Hills, Atlanta. I used to like OC. Oh, apparently she's like the villain on The Real Housewives of Toronto. Didn't that only last for like a couple seasons? I never seen that one. So no wonder. So that is really cool. Thank you so much, Cody. And I recognize you because... Oh, most hated. Wait, did he get that for her? Because like, she's the most... <laughs> You have sent me letters and cards in the past and I just appreciate you so much. So the next thing is I got this shirt and there was no letter or anything. It says y'all means all, literally. <laughs> I thought this was so cute. So to whoever sent this, thank you so much. It's just super meaningful. Oh, well, that's cute. It's like a pride, Texas pride. Not to me. So next thing I got was this really long letter from a... Is Amber moving to Texas? Thank you so much for opening up to me. Whenever I read a letter, I don't share anything personal, but just know that I read every single one. So thank you guys for taking the time to write me letters. Or maybe she'll move like near destiny in Florida. And Michelle sent me tons of stickers like, don't give up, do something today that your future self will thank you for, don't trip over something that is behind you, and so many more. So thank you so much, Michelle. So next I got this really long letter Cute. from Katie. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. And she sent me a ton of earrings and in the letter she gave me an explanation for each one. So I thought that was super cute. Earrings. So the first pair is Rubik Cubes earrings. That's amazing. Like, ma'am. These are like some Mickey keys. So cute. Some Oreo earrings. That's is this the same person that sent her a ton of earrings before? Like, darn, earrings. Horrible. A Lego necklace. You know, I love Legos. And it's in the shape of a heart. That's so cute. Some really pretty pink earrings. And then she also sent me a shell from Ireland. That is so sweet. Thank you so much, Katie, honestly. All right, you guys. So it's getting pretty late and my camera is on the- That was cute. Oh, so it's over. 
which are dying. So I have to put a new battery in there, charge this one, blah, blah, blah. But I hope that you guys did enjoy this vlog and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. It's been a while since we've gotten a P.O. Box moment. So that was interesting, I guess. Amberlynn is falling back into bad habits. What did you guys think of this brand new video from Amber? She's moving. She's being pretty cryptic. I noticed like we can't figure out the breakup. We can't figure out where she's moving to. So everything is being kept under wraps for now, which adds a little bit of mystery. Like it's good and bad. People can speculate. You know, I love a good rumor and speculation. Let me know what you guys think about that Eric Cook moment as well. Like, is he talking about Amber or or like reaction channels. Let me know what you think. And I will, of course, catch you guys in the, the next one. All right. Bye, guys.